hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here what we have here we can multiply this directly x times x times x as same thing as x cube minus x times x that's x square equals to 100 here the next step here we take 100 to left hand side this becomes x cube minus x square minus 100 equals to zero here then here we can write 100 as 125 minus 25 then this equation becomes x cube minus x square minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets equals to zero here the minus open this bracket we have x cube minus x square minus 125 then plus 25 equals to zero here then yeah 125 same thing as 5 times 5 times 5 that's 5 cube and also 25 same thing as 5 times 5 that's 5 square then here we can rearrange and we write this as x cube minus x square then minus 5 cube plus 5 square equals to 0 here then we bring the power of 3 together we have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 then minus x square plus 5 square equals to 0 here then here yeah, we have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 into brackets the minus is common here we have x square minus 5 square into brackets then equals to 0 here then here yeah, this bracket follows on we have a cube minus b cube which is same thing as a minus b into brackets open bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also here the second bracket follows when we have a square minus b square this same thing as a minus b into brackets open bracket a plus b that is here yeah, this equation becomes x minus 5 into brackets open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close brackets and we have minus this bracket becomes into bracket x minus 5 also into bracket x plus 5 close brackets equals to 0 here then here we have x minus 5 comma factor it out and this becomes x minus 5 into bracket open brackets here we are left with x square plus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 then we mean minus into bracket x plus 5 here close bracket equals to 0 here then next step here we have minus open this bracket and this becomes x minus 5 into brackets open bracket here becomes x square plus 5x plus 25 then minus open this bracket we have minus x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here and this here we have x minus 5 into brackets then open brackets x square 5x minus x that's plus 4x and 25 minus 5 we have plus 20 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases here the first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here solving on this side we have x equals to 5 which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 
then apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a as this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1. At this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 80 then over 2 here which implies we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 as minus 64 over 2 then you can write this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2 then this follows when we have root a times b we can separate it as root a times root b and this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2 at this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 64 that's 8 root minus 1 that's i over 2 at this here we can write as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2 which implies we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 that's minus 2 plus or minus 8i over 2 that's 4i at this here we have two complex solutions here and therefore all together here we have three solutions in this problem one is solutions here and two complex solutions here we have x1 equals to 5 x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4 i i'm making three solutions together one re and two complex solutions i will substitute here five this becomes five times five times five minus five times five this is equals to 100 on this side and five times five times five that's 125 minus five times five that's 25 this is equals to 100 here and of course 125 minus 25 give us 100, which is equals to 100 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is, 5 here satisfy this given problem. Same thing here. These two complex solutions will satisfy. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to step. subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.